Hey, what's up? It's Allie, and I got a new desk. I need to show you all this desk. Look at this desk. Look at it. The space that was over here just wasn't working in any way that I needed it to. And I really needed some more shelves. I have a book problem. I also wanted something that was kind of unique and fun. And I was looking online and I ended up finding like some rounded bookshelves. But I was like, I really want like a rounded bookshelf desk. Looked at getting the rounded bookshelves and adding like a top to it. Far too expensive. I was like, well, maybe I can make it. I have ADHD. Finishing tasks is not my strong suit. I get lots of good ideas. I'll even start some good ideas. I don't ever finish any of them. My parents, thankfully, they love projects and they love handiwork projects specifically. And my stepdad ended up making me this desk, which means that it's quite unique. Edges aren't perfect, which is great. And I picked out the color and my mom painted it for me and they did all the work and it's deep. And it's got all the storage and I'm just so excited to have it. So yeah, the front is rounded. The back side is more squared off because I wanted a place to actually use as a desk. Which means that I needed something to overhang so my feet would fit under it. Now you're on the floor. This is a great angle. Said no one ever. Pitch up were these gold baskets they're metal and I mostly got these because they have these cool like label fronts on them but I thought the gold and the green would look really good together so I have three different sizes some acrylic ones for maybe putting stuff in the back again we, we, we want to hide shit as well one of the issues that I have with my current setup is that a lot of special editions be bright and also they have colored pages now most of my books are actually turned backwards right now for aesthetic purposes because I've read them. Any book that I've read, I turn around. They, the colors just don't go, but also I just kind of want a place to put all my fancy editions and like some of my favorite books and whatnot, because I got a lot of them. This seems like the perfect place to put them, because they're not going to mess with the aesthetics of everything else. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't know what's all over me. I've been cleaning and doing all kinds of stuff, so... So obviously the first step in this whole journey was to fill the shelves.
then after filling the shelves and getting everything done on top, I thought that was it. I realized that this gorgeous, beautiful Lord of the Rings keyboard wasn't really Mac compatible. And also I hated the switches inside and the noise that it made. So I was like, oh, I'll just swap out the switches. It's not a hot swappable board, so I can't swap out the switches. Those who don't know, I am kind of a nut for keyboards anyway. So I decided to just build a new one, just mod a new one for this space specifically. And I got tangerine switches and all that jazz. And I'm not gonna go too much into it. I looped all the switches, put all the switches and got new keycaps, all the things. I'm not gonna go too into it because I already did a whole video on my keyboard obsession at one point in life. So yeah, anyway, that took another few weeks to finish off. And then after all of that and a few other adjustments along the way, I finally have my desk as, as I've been using it. Anyway, I hope that you have liked this video. I am obsessed with my desk. I think it's gorgeous and it's amazing and I love how much room it feels like it's given me. It doesn't look like it's given me any room based on how many more things there are in here, but I think it really completes the space. Next, I will be getting a chair at some point because, you know, the big ancient chair that I have that I upholstered isn't good for like editing that for hours on end. So that will probably be next. I would love to upgrade my PC, my computer at some point as well. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what your favorite part was and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Thank you.